Hello everybody. This is Diane. Thanks for coming to my channel today. It's a Monday, which meant I had errands to run this morning and I had to clean up my craft room from the just finished peacock project. And I have an hour before I have to start in on my household chores. So I'm going to start making these covers. So if you want to watch and, you know, chat along with me, you can talk to me. I might not hear you, but you can talk to me. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend an hour working on these covers for glue books. Did you see my video? Probably yesterday from when you see this. I think it will have been yesterday. Uh, I showed the covers for the glue books. And I have four of them that will go in my shop. And this one will be mine because my glue book is almost used up. Um, and one of these glue books can be reserved, um, as, I've, as I've stated recently. Um, if I'm making multiples of a certain type of journal, I will allow one to be reserved. As long as things go smoothly, you know, if I don't have too many problems doing it. Um, so far it's been good, so thank you to those of you who have reserved journals and have um, responded uh, in a timely manner when they were ready. So this one, I'm going to show them to you, so if somebody wants to reserve one, they can. The Popular Compendium of Useful Information. And this is a very old book. My Book House from the Tower Window. And this is in really good condition, so I don't know how old it is. It does have some marks here, like somebody used a uh, stylus or something it's not a pen there's no ink or pencil mark but it's dug in maybe somebody had a piece of paper on top of it and was writing on it i don't know but part of that will be covered with fabric anyway there's that the golden book encyclopedia and the big big storybook and this will have some circus elements in the blue book uh, so i'm just going to start building the covers i've got my drawers of fabrics next to me and I've got some drawers of rickrack and gimp on the other side of me and I have chipboard pieces cut to two and a half inches for the spines I don't need them for this one and I have my tie back and my glue so hopefully we're all set all right so this one if you saw the video where I showed the covers this was a salesman's book and this, the spine on it was very narrow because this was just a sample for him to take an um, offer for sale. And there were two choices of spines and this was one of them. So it was glued to the inside, but it came off. So, but it's in good condition because it wasn't actually used as a spine and it is not as dingy as the cover, but I'm going to use this as the spine. But it was attached, oh yeah, it wasn't glued on, it was attached here. The other spine was glued on, like the uh, alternate version, this one. So it must be this was a different cover you could get with that spine. But this was attached here, so I had to cut it. So this will have to be, um, I'll have to put something on there to cover over that. I'm going to trim off the loose fabric, and you'll be able to see the bookboard probably once I trim the loose fabric off. But I'll wrap something around it. Yep, and there's the, there's the bookboard. already trimmed. This is trimmed nicely, so we're ready. So I'm going to start by putting on my red red line tape. This, this one is probably from Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> this package that's waiting, because I'll probably use this one up. This one is from Michael's. You can get it at Hobby Lobby, at Joann's, at Michael's. Um, this was Paper Studio. This is Recollection, so they 
put their own brand on it, but they're all the same. You can get it at Joann's. Did I say that? And you can get it at Amazon. I have done that when I've had some difficulty finding it in the craft stores. So this is like a finished edge right here because it was just a loose flap on the cover. So it's all finished on three sides, but that's going to be covered. Might create a little more bulk than I'm used to on the spine edges. We'll see what happens. So I'm just putting this tape You've seen me do this lots of times if you've watched my channel, but I just figured this is what I'm doing today. This is all the crafting I'm doing today. So I'll just turn the camera on and if you're bored with watching me put covers together, you don't have to watch. But I don't mind the company if you want to hang around. I like it when you tell me that you kept me company like you were, some of you say you were clearing your craft space, your craft table, cleaning up. Some of you say you were working on a project. And it always makes me happy to know that somebody was crafting with me. Oh, and this is my Tyvek. I want to cut that before I peel this off. I'm going to move this right out of the way for now so I can see my grid. I don't really need to line it up perfectly right now. I just need to get an idea of how wide I need the Tyvek. This, the other spines that I cut are two and a half inches. This is three inches. It doesn't have to be cut perfectly straight as long as it's wide enough. all going to be covered. Okay, now I can take the tape off, or the backing of the tape. So I had a very busy weekend, but it was nice. I got to see, spend a lot of time with some people I love. I went on a little, uh, just a short thing with my daughter-in-law. And then uh, I went with my sister and her husband and we paid a visit to my parents. I mean, they live very close to me, so I see them a lot more than my sisters do, but they hadn't been in a while and they invited me to come along. So I went and visited my parents with my sister and her husband, and it was a very nice visit. We had a good time. And then I went out to lunch with my sister and her husband to Applebee's. And then on Sunday, I rode to church. Oh, I want to line this up at the bottom. At the, at, uh, the bottom of the book needs to be lined up on one of these grid lines, is what I meant. I rode to church with my son, my daughter-in-law, and my granddaughter, and I ride in the back seat with my granddaughter. And it's about a 25-minute ride to the church that we've been going to. And my son and his wife are now members. They're new members. I have not made that commitment yet. But I enjoyed going, you know, riding to church with them and, you know, getting to have a conversation with them. It's a little wider than I need, so I'm just going to trim that extra piece off. And my daughter and her family arrived in the parking lot at church the same time we did, so we all went to church together. Now, this is different because I'm keeping that spine and usually if I keep the book spine it's already attached but this was not so I have to do I'm just going to put maybe a strip of fabric 
on there. And maybe I'll try to match that green. But I'm looking through my fabrics to see what I have. I don't have a lot of green, and especially not dark green. this here where you can see what I'm doing. Maybe this one. Oh, there's a dark green. Maybe I want that lighter background one to lighten up the tone of the front. I just want it to be a thin strip because I don't want to cover much of this at all if I can help it. So something like that. It's a nice long strip so there's enough for both. Let's just see how that looks. Okay, that would be fine. I like that one better. And then I will I have to put another fabric in here. Okay, so I'm going to cut it to the right length and then I'll get it to the right width. So this is something new you haven't seen me work with before. So after Sunday school and church, I had taken my son and his family out for lunch last Sunday, I believe, but my daughter was working. I just wanted to, to take each family out on their own. <clears throat> it gives me a chance to eat out twice. But no, I just had some encouraging... stuff happen so I wanted to celebrate with them. It's it's financial stuff so I'm not gonna you know go into detail about it but just some good news from my financial people. So I took my son and his wife out last Sunday so I took my daughter and her family out yesterday and they chose uh, a local pizza place with the New York style pizza which I love. And it's Rico's. I am not a big pizza person, but I do love, once in a while, I'm really craving a New York style pizza, and I love Rico's. And it's close to where we go to church. So we went to Rico's after church, and the sign on the door said they weren't open until 2 on Sundays. <clears throat> so we just continued going up the highway to the mall. Because the boys wanted cookies. They have the Great American Cookie Company up there. So we went up there, picked out some cookies to have later. Walked around a little bit. And then we got back to Rico's at about four minutes to two. We went in and got our pizza. Teddy loves the chicken tenders there. So he, he didn't want pizza. He got chicken tenders, and he let me have a sample, and it was really, really good. It was so good that I ordered some chicken tenders to take home with me. <laughs> so that's what I'll be having for dinner tonight. So between, you know, going to church with them and eating lunch with them, hanging out at the mall just a little bit, 
and then riding home with them. We had a, a good day together. And then later on in the evening, my son needed a ride. His wife had gone out somewhere with her friends and he had done, he works for the funeral, for a funeral parlor near us. Um, just, that's not his job job, but as needed, he does work for them. He'll drive, he, he drove a couple hours away yesterday to pick up a body from a hospital and bring it because this funeral parlor does cremations and not all of them do. So they get um, work from distances away from hospitals and funeral homes that don't do cremations. And they need people willing to drive the hearse to pick pick the bodies up and also to go back if they need to and deliver the ashes. So anyway, he had to do that and when he was done he called me and said he was ready to be picked up so I went and got him and took him home and we were having a conversation in the car and that wasn't completed so he invited me to come in the house so we could finish our conversation and I ended up staying for probably an hour. So it was just a weekend spent with my family, people, people in my family, which was nice. And tomorrow I'm going to, if we, if we don't get terrible weather, we're supposed to have, we're on a winter storm watch, but nothing's happening too much. It's been snowing, but nothing is sticking, so I'm hoping that the weather's going to be okay, because I'm supposed to go to my sister's for our sister day. And we, you guys, I don't know what you would think if you saw us together, my two sisters and me. We're kind of, we're, we're pretty quiet girls, but when we're together, we talk, 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 and laugh. We get serious, we talk about serious stuff, problems we're each dealing with, whatever, but we talk and laugh and it's good for the soul and we know that we love each other and it's always a good day. Even if I feel like I don't, I don't feel sociable, which is quite often the case with me, especially if it's, you know, with, with my sisters, I don't feel that way that much, but there are days when I just, I just don't feel like talking to people. But I go, because I'm not going to say no to my sister. And it's always such a blessing. So that's what's on the books for tomorrow. I know I'm talking a lot more about personal stuff than usual, but you've seen me do this a million times. So that's what it looks like on the front, and that's nice. And I can, I'll probably just leave it raw. Because I don't, I could put some ribbon or lace, like just to cover the edge and not extending off too much. So, because I, I don't want to cover much more of the cover, but I kind of like the raw look to it. But now I need to do something here, cover that, and then I'll have to put end papers down. Maybe I'll use this dark one if it's wide enough. I guess it's not wide enough. Um. Well, maybe I'll pick some end papers out and go from there. Probably don't have two of these. I do. I think the map would be great on this because it's a compendium of useful information. I think I could put map on the end papers. And what what for the fabric? Nothing. It's not going to show that much, but it will show here and in between the signatures. So I do want it to look nice. It's 
pretty bright. Just looking, just looking. About that. I don't know. Maybe. Boy, at this rate, I'm only going to get one cover done in, in that hour. I don't expect to get all five of them done, but hopefully more than one. so it's straight. this down. I think the glue books will be a nice simple project for me to work on this week. I just finished some more um, involved projects. So I think each day I will take time to do some more tidying, organizing, and getting things listed in my shop. I listed stuff yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, I believe. And there's still some things left, but a lot of it sold. And I thank you once again. I'm very, very appreciative. And I have more to list. More and more and more, and the flea market, the stockyards flea market opens. And well, the other one opens three. All right, let's start over. Stockyard opens in less than three weeks, just you know, like a day or two less than that. And the indoor one, the barns, opens a week from today. No, I got that backwards. The stockyards opens a week from today. And I love the stockyards one. There won't be very many there. I've said that before. There won't be very many there on the first day because first weekend in April is usually quite chilly here in northeastern Pennsylvania. But I go and I usually find something and sometimes it's really good. Even if I only find one thing from one vendor, I know one year it was a box of antique bills. Well, my blade is just clean gone. <laughs> oh, I got it on with no problem. Usually that's an issue. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to going to the flea markets. going to try not to buy too much. I do want to share with you guys because it is fun for me and it's fun for you guys, but I don't want to overwhelm myself. Definitely need a new blade. I mean, I have, I have new blades. I just need to change them, change it.
So I'd like to uh, keep working on getting some more things listed and so that when I start finding a lot of stuff at the flea markets, I can um, work harder at getting things listed more quickly so I don't feel like I'm getting overwhelmed with backlog. Because otherwise, I just, I've got to tell myself I can't do it. I'm not going to stress myself out like that anymore. Edges are rough because my blade needs replacing. That looks pretty. I like it. This is a nice glue book cover. I used to use this all around here to stick the end papers down, but once I discovered, well, I didn't discover it, I learned about it on YouTube, um, the Fabri-Tac, it works great, so, and it's a lot easier, quicker, probably less expensive. Uh, Fabri-Tac is not cheap, but I went through those rolls of red tape very fast when I was using them for pretty much everything on putting a cover together. I was saying that this would be a uh, pretty quick and simple project because I might add some pockets or you know some fun elements to the junk journals but not too much to the um, glue books I mean and because you're just gonna glue stuff all over the pages that's a nice chunky book I think I will probably add more pages to this one than the other ones. Maybe I'll make it five signatures and I'll probably do it as a hidden spine so that I don't have to stitch through that. So this one will be different than the others. Okay, I need to put something on the edge of that. I'm gonna get my basket of fabric strips. See if something, see if something here will kind of complement this. If not, I can always create fabric strips. That does not belong in there. Doesn't have to be green, I'm just looking for whatever works. This color might look nice with it. I guess any of those might. That one might be nice. Or a plain muslin. be too thin but let's see yeah I've got lots of choices here so let's look until we find one that says yes it's me I kind of like the idea of using this as a contrasting uh, contrasting with the other green yes I think I don't even need to look any further I'm just gonna go with that I like it
I could just barely put it on there and have more of it wrap around. And of course, I make it narrower. Alright, I don't want to get glue on my mat. I'm just going to put some glue along the edge. And you see this? It doesn't clean off, so I'll probably put some little patches of fabric or something back there. Do a little collage back there. But I'm not going to worry about that today. I'm glad I started with this book because it did have some unique challenges, but definitely worth it. It's a gorgeous book cover. Very, very nice. Okay, let's see if we can do another one. At least get started. Got my spine piece here, so I'm going to just mark on it how tall it needs to be. might work but it just barely so I'm gonna save that for when I do my regular two inch spines this is my pack of Tyvek um, I got it from Amazon and last time I I looked well one of the last times I looked I couldn't find it in the sheets anymore. It was just the envelopes, which is what I used to get. Just the business, you know, like the big envelopes and cut them. But this is so much easier. And then when I went to link the tie back in a video, I found it on the sheets again. So apparently it's still available in the sheets. So I thought I should order some while they have it, but I have that pack I just pulled this from, plus one that's not even open yet. Since you've seen me, seen me um, make these just now, you watched me put the spine on it. I'm going to select the fabric for it while you're here. That might be more interesting for you. So we've got this pretty teal color and some red, green, even some gold color there. That, that would be nice. I think 
think I'll go with that. Well, that was easy. Let's look at the other ones. We can pick fabrics for all of them. This one is mine. It's got purple here. But as I've said, I'm not a purple fan. So I don't want to go with the purple spine. just looks like it needs to be purple, doesn't it? Let's see what I can come up with. Now that might look nice. This is a VTAC fabric. I think that looks nice. Guess I'm going to have to go with that. Here's another one. This is more of a, it's kind of a purple color, but it's got more pink in it. But I don't think I have purple fabric, really, because it's not my favorite. Brown. Maybe that one. That reddish color might complement that. It doesn't match it, but it might complement it. <clears throat> Just going to look a little bit more. Looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh, I found purple. It's too purple for me. I wouldn't want that on mine, but it might look good on that one for someone else who likes purple. There's some of the brown tan. I think this is a fun part of making these books, is having fun with uh, putting the fabrics and stuff in. Well, let's see what we have here. So that would work if I don't have anything else. It's kind of small, but it would do the outside of the spine. So that's a possibility. But I think this one is more interesting and I do like the way it looks on it. And sometimes they don't have to match. You can just contrast. And that looks nice too. Not that one. Yeah, that one goes. So I think it, we're down to this one or this one. this one. And I think I like these better. I'm sorry if you don't agree with me. It's a nice light color. It's got the red. And this is a reddish brown here. There's some red here. It just looks it just looks nice. And this one. I like that one too, a lot. So this is hard. I 
I'm going with that one. Phew! Now we can have a lot of fun with the circus one. I wonder if the spines are big enough for this. Oh yeah, have to cut a little bit off. Okay, so this can be red or bright yellow or a bright blue. Oh, I've got some polka dots. I didn't bring them in. Let me grab them. I have a small drawer of fabrics that has polka dots and checks and things like that. Solids. It would be fun. Sorry if I bumped you. It would be fun to make a patchwork. So I could use this this is one of my dyed fabrics that I dyed with RIT. And that's one of my dyed fabrics. And so is this. This is a cut up of an old linen. So I could do a patchwork. Let's see. Got bandana print in here too. There's a stripe. Oh, something fell. I need to get some red in there. thought I had red polka dots, but I'm not seeing any. Wouldn't you think I'd have red polka dots? But nope, I don't. I'm thinking maybe I'll just use some reds and blues. Well, I want yellow too. Red, blue, and yellow. And create a little patchwork piece. Oh, there's some yellow. That's great. Here's some red. This is perfect. Okay. So I'll put together a patchwork spine. And that will be good. And that takes us to the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed um, putting together a cover with me and selecting fabrics for the remaining covers. And I hope you'll come back to see what we end up with. Um, I don't know if I'll do process. There, there won't be much process to it except selecting papers and cutting them and then arranging them. So I don't know what you'll get to see. Maybe the next video will be the finished journals. I don't know. But I enjoyed having you come along with me and let me know if you want to reserve one. First come, first serve. If someone reserves one, I will put that in the um, description box. So you can go there and read the description and, and I'll put that right at the top. One journal is already reserved so the rest will not be. But uh, I hope that you appreciate the this new way of doing it. I've done it this way before, reserving one journal and putting the rest in my shop. But I hope that, let me know if you like the way that I'm doing that now. I mean, I'm going to keep doing it, but I just kind of want to know what you guys think of it. I guess that's enough talking, and I'm going to let you go, and I'll see you in the next video, and I hope you're having a creative day. Bye-bye.